In this specific video, you're going to learn how to launch your site to search engines and use ping settings effectively. Now, before we get started, I want to give you some quick explanations. WordPress basically gives you the ability to notify search engines that your site is live. Ping, on the other hand, basically is a feature that helps notify the search engines that you've posted a brand new post, a brand new page, and to come check it out. If you create posts and pages frequently, this can actually help your search engine ranking. So with that said, let me go ahead and show you how to notify search engines your site is live and how to use ping settings effectively. So what you need to do now is to simply log into your WordPress dashboard. To access the option to make your site live, go under settings and click on reading. You have to do this before you can enable the ping settings. So make sure that this box is unchecked. And what I recommend that you do is don't do this until you're actually ready to launch your site to the internet. So let's say for example that if you've installed your website and you're not necessarily ready to notify the search engines and make your site live until half a month or so later, only do this when you're actually ready. So uncheck this box, click on save changes. And then now, Click on writing and at the very bottom, you're going to see the ping settings here. So it says update services. Basically you can enter a list of ping sites. What I like to do is to go to google.com and search for WordPress ping sites. So go to Google, type in WordPress ping list. And what I normally do is I open the first few ones. And try to find the most updated one. So we've got 2012. 2012. Two thousand ten. I'm going to close this out then. And we got October 20, 2012. Okay, so this is the most updated WordPress ping list that I can find. So I'm going to basically just copy this, all these ping URLs, into here. So simply copy and paste this here. Click on Save Changes. And there we go. So it says settings saved and we go down here. We can see the list here. And now whenever you create a post or a page, WordPress is automatically going to notify these services here that you've created a brand new post and page. So now that you have set it up, that's all you have to do.